Hey guys, before we discuss the most recent controversial discovery that was made in the Seriarka, a region near the city of Karaganda in Kazakhstan, I feel it is important to note that a possible cover-up has ensued surrounding the finds that have been made. A tomb has been found within what is thought to be the oldest pyramid surviving on Earth. The team of explorers who made the discovery, led by Igor Kukushkin, said that they initially believed that it was likely built for an ancient king or clan leader. However, upon realizing that a burial chamber was resting beneath this once enormous mausoleum and that it was found unopened, it has remained undisturbed for undoubtedly many millennia. Soon after the discovery, local authorities, along with rumors of the involvement of other international organizations, cordoned off the entire excavation, subsequently silencing the archaeologists for nearly a year regarding their remarkable finds, also preventing any further exploration of the ruins being reported. Just how long would it take for a once grand pyramid to virtually erode away? And what sort of things were found within this tomb that would require a year-long cover-up? Information relating to the discovery of the pyramid and the subsequent burial chamber was initially filtered to the press, yet no further information regarding this amazing excavation was made public. After over a year of silence, the team have now claimed that the chamber had somehow been robbed some years earlier, conveniently leaving the oldest known pyramidal tomb on earth empty for all the world to see. Additionally, a large debunking effort has ensued regarding the initial and largely honest conclusions made by many scholars regarding the pyramid's possible age. Many initially concluded that the pyramid actually predated its more well-known neighbors, located more than 6,000 kilometers away in Giza, by more than 1,000 years. Not too long ago when Osiris's tomb was rumored to have been discovered within Gaza, who was said to have been an alien god, a familiar sequence of events were subsequently witnessed shortly after this discovery also. Could there really be a conspiracy currently being undertaken by unknown powers to conceal the existence of ancient astronauts and possible past alien gods? With so many ancient burial chambers linked to incredibly important and lost segments of our vast ancient past, it is difficult to deny the possibility of such a conspiracy actually being played out in front of our very eyes. What do you think regarding the suppression of such finds? Are the accusations of a conspiracy sheer paranoia? Are these operations just protecting the discoveries from possible corruption? Or could there really be aliens buried within the tombs of pyramids that dot the earth? Or possibly even further afield? Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. The channel's recent expose regarding the possible true age of the Great Pyramids outlaid many fragments of evidence, strongly suggesting they predate a number of past advanced lost civilizations. However, it mistakenly overlooked a possible culprit for their construction. Numerous layers of casing stones, each once an enormous undertaking, occurred at varying times within antiquity by different civilizations which many perceive were possible conservation efforts. Due to this, and the fact that I had so far identified at least three advanced separate civilizations elsewhere, achieved through the cooperation of nearly three years' work, focused upon cataloging unexplained advanced ruins from the past, characteristics within the techniques used to construct them, toolmark signatures left upon the stones, unique, identifiable architectural design, and differentiations exclusive to particular ruins were slowly gathered and used to identify three distinct ancient civilizations with their own unique directions of development. However, I mistakenly presume that the Cyclopean civilization was placed far closer to us than the original pyramid builders. This was put forward as a personal opinion, which mystery history reluctantly has to admit that, although based on logic, has been disproven by this very same methodology. In the video, it was stated, and I quote, I have never, and now strongly feel will never, find any indicative evidence of these civilizations building the footings under any of these gigantic megaliths, end quote. I had looked for a significant time for any signature stonework, linking any of the civilizations I had identified to the placement of megalithic blocks over or around the 1,000 tons mark. If I discovered these characteristics beneath such enormous stones, I would have proven that they were indeed capable and more than likely the civilization responsible for their placement, 
with the most significant being the building of the pyramids. There were some issues which niggled M.H. regarding this postulation before the following discovery, however, due to the lack of any footings, had to postulate the pyramid builders were a far more capable group. One such niggle were the matching scoop-like tool marks used by the Cyclopean civilization found in Bazda Cave, Turkey, officially proven to have been the quarry for Haran, a nearby settlement, which possessed their signature Cyclopean blockwork, cuboid blocks with a raised center, synonymous with many ancient builds, with the same scoop-like tool marks also present upon the excavation of the unfinished obelisk. Yet due to the absence of footings, which would have demonstrated undeniable proof that they were indeed capable of working, moving, and placing such stones, I wrongly presume that they were incapable of such tasks. However, unlike academia, regardless of disliking the realization that he was mistaken about something, the motive of the channel is honest research and logical deduction. Thus, admitting one's mistakes allows not only mystery history's understanding to evolve, but is the only path one can take in the pursuit of truth. The Western Wall, Wailing Wall, or Kotel as known in Islam as the Barrage Wall, is an ancient limestone wall in the old city of Jerusalem. Originally erected to its current height by Herod the Great in 19 BC, enclosing the Temple Mount in a large rectangular structure topped by a huge flat platform. The Western Wall is considered holy by both practicing Muslims and Jews. Of the four retaining walls, the western one is considered to be closest to the former temple, which makes it the most sacred site recognized by Judaism outside the former Temple Mount Esplanade. Just over half of the wall's total height, including its 17 courses located below street level, is academically claimed to date from the end of the Second Temple period, and is commonly believed to have been entirely built around 19 BC by Herod the Great. However, the western stone, weighing around 600 tons and a few other enormous stones, all located below ground level within the base, not only possesses compelling evidence of incredible antiquity, but beneath this enormous stone are the signature blocks of the civilization I named the Cyclopeans. This is evidence I wrongly presumed I would never find, demonstrating that the civilization I call the Cyclopeans were indeed capable of moving such gigantic stones. What's more, they were also capable of moving the pyramid stones, and indeed those of Baalbek, yet to be a viable suspect, due to the immense age of the pyramids, evidence would need to be found to support this, and amazingly, these foundation stones do indeed contain just that. Still embedded within holes, presumably cut for the placement of the blocks, Timber chocks can be found in these foundation stones, wooden planks which have over an unimaginable amount of time petrified into coal, stone, and flint-like materials, indicating a minimum age of at least 100,000 years, as such decay and petrification would not have been able to occur in the currently attested timeline. Could these stones date from the original construction of Giza's Great Pyramids? It is undoubtedly a wall many followers of certain Abrahamic monotheistic faiths hold in high regard, and one of incredible importance to them. Amazingly, however, due to these amazing features, it is also of high significance in regards to unraveling the secrets of history. It is, undoubtedly, highly compelling. The Nubian Pyramids, a series of hundreds of pyramidal structures and ruins, making up part of the ancient cities of Kush and Meroe. The structures incorporate styles from many different, equally ancient ruins from around the world, displaying to all the reach of this once global civilization. The first recorded settlers in this part of Sudan date back as far as 300,000 years, with the civilization that is claimed to have built and indeed painted these structures are dated as far back as 4,000 years. The city of Kush is renowned for having the finest pottery in all the Nile Valley, evidence of the builders' past capabilities. Yet what we found the most interesting about the ruins 
is a decorative piece found within one of these ancient structures within the ancient city of Meroe, amongst over 200 sandstone pyramids. A depiction can be found within a rather peculiar mural. Like that of the ancient depictions of Gilgamesh, repeatedly showing carrying an adult male lion like a kitten, this image, in fact, shows an ancient giant carrying an elephant in each hand. And although this is clearly a remarkable detail, it is not the only features of note that are to be found within the picture. First brought to the attention of mainstream study in 1821 by the French mineralogist Frédéric Caillou, it has since been noted that the giant's features were seemingly Caucasian in appearance, with his hair a light red in color, something we have touched upon in the past with witness testimonies of ancient remains of red-headed giants being reportedly found worldwide, in particular Lovelock Cave. Thus, one wonders, could this be a true depiction of not only the builders of the Nubian pyramids, but possibly Giza's Great Pyramids and the many other either publicly studied or covered up structures found around the world? It is a possibility which we find incredibly compelling.